Y'all, I'm Brittany. Welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm going to be making homemade bread. It's going to be my uh, Parmesan garlic. Um, it's got Italian herbs in it and all kinds of good stuff. So let's get this started. So we have our um, water in here, our one and a half cups of warm water. And we just added one and a half teaspoons of active yeast. Um, I don't know what was going on, but apparently I didn't hit record. It's one of those days. So she is stirring it all in for me and I'm going to let this sit for 10 minutes. That way it activates it and that yeast is really going to help the bread rise. And as soon as this is done, I'll be right back. All right, y'all are 10 minutes up and now we're going to add four and a half cups of flour. I'm going to leave this out because I'm going to need to sprinkle a little bit on my countertop here in a minute so I can knead this bread out. Um, let's see. I need a teaspoon of salt. of a teaspoon of garlic powder. And some, let's see, how many did I use last time? Two teaspoons of sugar. and all the other little animals are helping us too today. Okay, now I'm going to get a spatula so I can kind of start getting this all folded in together. And once it's most of the way folded in together, then I'm going to put it on the counter and I'm just going to knead it out. I have to knead it for about 10 minutes. Um, I'll be right back. help me but just let me do most of it because I don't want to get it all over the place okay. you can help me knead it whenever I get it to that point okay there's a little bit sugar left Thank you. It's a bloody sugar. Is it? Y'all, it smells so good already. There's just something about the smell of homemade bread. Oh. It takes me back. Are you eating flour? Don't do that. It takes me back to when my grandmother could still make bread. It was so good. We'd walk into our house for dinner on Sunday night, and she used to use a bread box, though. She used to use a, a bread maker. Now this, I just let it, after I um, knead it, I just let it um, sit and rise on a pan with parchment on it for about an hour or two, probably two. It just depends on what it looks like. Um, We'll go over that in a little bit. I'm going to get this. Huh? In just a second. I want to get this out.
Hang on, baby. You're going to have fun with this part. Squish it all together. Is that fun? did a good job. Don't eat it yet. Tastes weird, doesn't it? You're not supposed to eat raw bread dough. Doing that, baby. You're gonna get it in pieces. Remember, you gotta go like this with your hands flat. Flat your hands. <laughs> okay. One more time. And really, the longest part about making this bread is just waiting for it to rise. Now I've got a baking sheet lined with parchment. Woo! Well, I think I'm out of uh, avoca avocado oil, y'all. Oh well. Okay. Now we're going to take our loaf of dough and I'm going to probably separate it in half. Hang on just a second. There's one. I'm going to go ahead and form this one. Here's both of our loaves. Now I'm gonna cover these with a dish towel and I'm just gonna let them sit here and I'm going to let them rise for an hour or two and we will be right back. All right, now I'm gonna check them. It's been an hour. They haven't rise as much as I would like and they're still kinda, they're a little bit cool. So what I'm gonna do is, is I'm gonna take them over here. Can you open the oven door for me? I'm just gonna set them in the oven. It's not on. I'm gonna put them in here. And let them continue to rise for about another 30 minutes. If they don't rise any more, then I'm gonna go on to the next step and melt some butter and brush it on the top and um, add our Parmesan cheese and herbs and stuff. So I'll be right back. I just got it out of the oven. Oh yeah, definitely looks better. I'm going to get probably about two tablespoons of butter and I'm going to get it melted. It's not going to take much because I have it softened already. And um, once it's melted, I'm going to add some of this. Let me get that melted real quick. All right, I've got my butter melted. I'm going to add my herbs to it. Yes, I did. Uh, I'm just gonna stir it up real quick. It doesn't work. It won't work. Oh, you know what? It won't work. I'm gonna go over this it. Is red Kool Aid, you want this one? Yes. Yeah. Oh, it's on. the same thing. Daddy just got you the same thing. Drink that one. It works. Everybody's in the kitchen at the same okay. time. Here, look. I'll mix it in a minute. And, hmm. I'm gonna make it special, hold on. Mom, there's lemonade. Uh-huh, Mom's making lemonade. Hey, how do you 
when you do this, you can do <laughs> whatever you would like. You can do pretty designs or whatever. I'll just do lines on this one. Okay. Now you brush your dough. Just a minute, let mommy get done. With your butter. I'm gonna put this right here. That way I don't, I don't trip butter all over the counter. Doesn't that look pretty? I love making homemade bread. It's so worth it. It tastes so much better. that to the side. Right, I'm going to put our Parmesan on there. I'm using grated, but you can use shredded. Either way, I've used them both. Sorry, y'all. There's so much noise in the background. Sorry. Get my hand out of here. Okay. So there you go. I'm going to stick them in the oven preheating to 325. I'm going to stick it in the oven for about 20 to 25 minutes. Um, I will keep you all posted whenever I come back and check on them. See you in a minute. All right, y'all. Our bread is done. Check it out. It looks so good. I'm going to get them on my cooling rack. And I'm going to let them cool for a while. And um, we're probably going to let them rest. I would like to say that, but everybody can't wait to cut into it. So I'm sure... <laughs> One of them probably won't have time to rust, but that's okay. Uh, that's all for today. Um, Y'all have a good one. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you later.